Hey everyone, Lane here from Makers Lane. So lately I've been working in my wife's shop. I got the floors laid down, I got the door put in. I was actually reached out by a company by the name of uh, Banggood. They, they sell all kinds of stuff. They're kind of like a, a different version of Amazon. I actually first originally found them way back in the day uh, when I was buying my 3D printer, I bought them through them. They, they, were really, they were really helpful. I actually had some issues and they were really helpful to get those problems solved, uh, shipping parts out and stuff. But they reached out to me to do uh, some reviews on some of their stuff. So two of the items they wanted me to look, uh, look at and review. One of the items I actually wanted to review because it was something that I wanted. So we kind of did a trade where, hey, you send me this out and I'll look at these other stuff for you. So here are the items. So these two are just like kind of small hand powered drills. Not 100% uh, like something I would typically go out and buy, but I think they'll be a great addition for like small tiny projects if I'm trying to get in small places. This is actually the main thing I wanted right here. So this right here is basically um, for your saw to make straight edge cuts. I've been looking for one of these for a while and I just haven't been able to jump the gun to actually purchase them. So they, were, they, they reached out to me and I figured it was a perfect time to go ahead and get one. So the project I'm actually going to work on today, so the project I'm going to work on today is actually going to be to mount something to the wall here for my wife to hang some of her artwork and stuff up. So the shop itself is actually all built off cinder blocks so that's why I can't just like have her nail into it and, and things like that. Now there are some places around the shop that um, she can actually hang her stuff up on. For instance, over here, she's already utilized this one part. This used to be a door out here, and she went ahead and hung up all of her stuff out here. However, on this wall, she's unable to do that. And it's a, it's a big, pretty big wall, and it's just blank, so it's a great space to actually hang stuff onto. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today. So my plan is to get a piece of um, uh, particle board, and I'm gonna paint it white. So what I'm gonna be using the track saw for is to just basically rip that down to size. I'm gonna put it together and see if I can get it, but that's all, I mean, that's basically for is just to, to rip things across. I have to use tap cons to actually secure it to the wall. I can't use the drills to actually drill the hole because you have to have a hammer drill to drill into it. I am, however, gonna try, keyword try, to use them to screw, screw the tap cons in. I am not 100% just by looking at the box itself I'm not 100% that they're not gonna they're gonna have enough power. I will be using them to drill stuff into the particle board after it's hung up onto the wall. Let's go down to my makeshift shop because mine is not finished yet, and we'll put this guy together, kind of go through some of the stuff with it, and see what I think of it, and then we'll come back up and and get started. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be using a piece of particle board for this. One thing to note, when I do go to paint it, I'm going to be using an oil-based paint. That way it only takes one coat to actually get full coverage. Here are all the items that came with the kit for the track saw. Put it together. The instructions were all in uh, some sort of Mandarin, so it was very hard to read. I kind of had to just go by the pictures. The whole book was like five different things that they sell. So I would say that's kind of a negative. I wish it was in you know English or something that was a little bit easier to read. The track saw itself was very high quality. I was very impressed being not an American company. I was very happy with the quality of it. Now there was one issue when I unboxed it. These end pieces here, they had a little bit of damage done to them. I think that was done during like the shipping process. It wasn't a huge deal because these pieces just kind of came off and I think they were just for show. Like I said, the overall quality of this thing was just amazing. I'm just going to go through and kind of tell you um, how to set it up. So there's these little black guys and then there's these guys right here and then this right here. And so there's a little slot right here. You put it in that slot. Um, attached to this and then these guys you run one of these out you kind of keep one of these flat you put the wing nut on and that secures that you do it on four sides so all four sides have them uh, and that's how it's secured to this and then as far as where to set this up what I did was I just there's a flat edge on the front here and as you can see I ran it all the way up so it's perfectly flat against this which is also perfectly square with the side piece and then I took this little piece that came with it. It told you in the instructions to set it up to where that gap there, you see that? It's actually the perfect size of this right here, which is how you use these guys to line your up. So you line that up if you need 
So this goes in here like that, and that lines up like that. So whenever you make the line, you butt that up against it. And that's basically how you line and set this up. Um, so it wanted me to go on this track and then set, uh, space it up by, so here, I'll take this off. So it wanted me to go on, yeah, this track here. And then I set the distance up off of this. So I would have put this in there and done that and set that distance there. However, if I would have done that, then my piece right here would have been coming off. So I used this track instead. So yeah, that's basically, that's basically how I set that up. So now I can go ahead and start cutting. As irritated I am with the instructions, I am very satisfied with the build quality. And as long as it cuts well, I mean, basically you can just use this video to set anything up you need to and don't worry about the instructions. I might reach out to Banggood and say, hey, can you put these in English? Like, um, I, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, their entire website's in English, so somebody there knows how to translate. But yeah, so the piece inside is, I need a piece five foot by four foot. So these are four foot pieces, so that distance is already cut. So now I just need to cut five foot. I really don't need to be super straight on this, so it's not gonna give me a great indication on how straight this cuts because I'm not super worried about like squareness and everything. I'm gonna have to look at it in the future to see if it works, but I don't see any reason. As long as I set everything up correctly, there's no reason that this could should cut crooked. So it's a really good system. The tolerances is what's important on these to be, to be close. And that's what these grommets right here are for. I think if it were a better setup, it might be like roller bearings or something like that. But these are nice because they sent you extra. And if they wear out, then you can always put new ones in. But with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and set this up real quick. Oh, before I take it up there, though, I do need to paint it. Let's go ahead and cut. Here are the two drills they sent me. One is a fixed head 90 degree drill. The other is a pivoting. Um, it will go straight forwards. It came with this nice little bit set inside of here. This weird little like uh, flexible head and then also the charger. So there's no batteries attached to this. The first thing I'm going to do to test these drills is actually try to use tap cons and drill them into the wall. Now they aren't super like speedy, but they actually do have quite a bit of torque. And as you can see, they're actually able to drive the tap cons into the wall, which is actually pretty impressive for the size and what I was expecting from these drills.
so there we have it. Added just a little bit of extra flair to this wall. She was really happy about being able to put all of her, all of her decorations out here. It's definitely helpful to have wood instead of uh, concrete to, to drill into and nail into. Overall, the uh, three tools I got, they were very helpful in this project. I was very unsure about the drills that they sent out here, whether or not they would uh, be suitable for this kind of thing, like I said earlier. Uh, however, they performed very effectively. I did this entire wall basically without having to charge either one of them. Uh, not a whole lot of work, but I mean, those tap cons were, those are pretty rigorous tasks for, for a drill to do. As far as using it for my like projects themselves, like uh, any woodworking or anything like that, I don't really know if they'd be suitable for that just because they're very slow and I kind of like to you know, drill things a little bit quicker. But if they, like for household items or like, you know, just something you put in the drawer, they're very compact. So it's really helpful for that. Any, any kind of project like this, or maybe like putting like furniture together or something like that. If you, if you do like Ikea stuff, like it'd be very, very helpful for that. But yeah, I, I was very impressed with them overall. I think they cost like $25. And for that price, I, I think they're definitely worth, worth, worth a buy. As far as the track saw, saw goes, very impressed with it, very happy with it. I expected less, I expected a little bit of slop in the channel and things like that, but it, it was, it was awesome. I, I'm very, very thankful that Banggood reached out to me and sent me those items. But yeah, if you're looking for something to, to add some flair to your wall and you have concrete walls, well, here's something that might help you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The items that I used for this video will be linked in the description below. If you have any questions about anything, just hit me up in the comments. But yeah, until next time, it's Lane from Maker's Lane. You guys have a good one.